My name's Chris. Um, 20 years old. Living on the streets. My name is Zach. I've been 19 years old and I've been on the streets for about a year now. When I was 17, I had a, a, a car, a house in Marana. I had all kinds of stuff. And then uh, I was married, have three kids. Um, started doing heroin when my best friend died. I started out with a lot of pills and moved to heroin and uh, lost my wife. She, just, she cheated on me and left me. Uh, my parents do foster care, so I can't stay with them. So I'm kind of just stuck out here. I mean, we struggle from day to day. We fight all the time, uh, though, as the group. But somehow we make it. I mean, we don't eat very often, and a lot of people look at us as like scum. You know what I mean? The way we look. I hope that uh, I can maybe reconnect with my wife. You know, see my kids. Uh, maybe have that back. It's kind of lonely without it. But, you know, I hope all my friends get out of this situation. And I hope my friend, you know, finds his family. They got it now. I went to jail when I was a youth, 17 to about 18. Um, I got out and I lived with my mom. I was going to Empire Beauty School. And that lasted about six months t until my father died. And my mom moved away, moved out of state with my two little brothers. And I became a homeless after I got kicked out of my one of my really good friends' house because his house got raided. And I've been on the streets for nine months, almost two years, and I've been struggling ever since to find a job, find a new school to go to. I've been addicted to a lot of drugs. Um, I'm actually overcoming those addictions, trying to get my mom and my brothers to finally talk to me, find out where I'm at, instead of looking for me on Facebook. Me and Chris, we became really good friends, became best friends since we've been homeless and try to keep each other out of trouble. Try, you know, homelessness, it really isn't, really isn't that bad, but the way people look at you is different. Um, but I'm not, that doesn't change who I am and who, who my friends are and what it, that's about me and who, hopes to get out of this situation is to find a really good school that I can go to that'll accept me for who I am and not for what I did in the past. Um, I made a few bad decisions and kind of got stuck. The way the police treat us, I mean, they, they've called us pieces of low-life scum. They harass us, you know, they walk into a store, you can't go anywhere without being followed, like you're gonna steal something just because you don't got much at all. Yeah, just, sometimes it's just the way, you know, just where we're chilling at, they don't think, you know, we're, we should be there, we should be, you know, we should be in jail, but honestly, we shouldn't. We should honestly be left alone because we're just homeless, we're struggling, you know? We have nowhere else to go. Like you said, living in a homeless ain't bad, it's just the people you have to deal with on a daily basis. Just earlier, we had some guy yelling at our campsite, you know, like he was gonna come down there and start shooting people, but I don't know. It isn't that bad when you really think about it. At least, you know, at least we're not like, you know, stuck in a ditch somewhere, dying.